Hello friends, this is Dr. Safavi, your Denver dentist from Claremont Dental. For those of you who are watching us for the first time, welcome. And for those of you returning viewers, good to have you back. I have deep pockets, what do I do? Many times gum disease can be present in a person with little to no apparent symptoms. So the gums can appear healthy and pink at the initial glance and can have harmful buildup although below the gum line that can affect one's oral health. This buildup is called calculus. It's an accumulation of plaque that has hardened over time. It can also contain the toxins that have been released from the bacteria that are in that area. Over time, this calculus can cause our gum tissue to be lost around the tooth. It can even cause the tooth to be lost itself. So if you remember from your last visit to your dentist, your dentist or the hygienist went around the gum line and measured and called out some numbers. The reason we do these measurements is to help us detect signs of gum disease. There's an instrument called the Periodontal Pro, so which is used and it looks like this. So I don't know if you can see it through the video. It has indicators on it that helps us measure the depth of the tissue surrounding the tooth. These notches are measured in millimeters. So we place the probe actually in between the tooth and the gum to measure the depth of the pocket depth, which is really a fancy way of say saying that we are measuring the space between your teeth and the surrounding gums and the bone. So we go around and do these measurements. This is an easy indicator of discovering if there we have pocket that's it's typically deeper than three millimeters, which shows inflammation of the gums or possibly loss of the bone surrounding the teeth. So gingival probing is a very important part of the dental exam to make sure that your teeth and your gums are kept in the optimal health. Again, any measurement less than three millimeter is healthy and above indicates that we need some attention. So now what to do if you are told that you have deep pockets in a specific area or in many areas, depending on the number that your dentist reads or your dental hygienist reads and its presence, possible presence of bleeding or absence of it, you'll be given one or few of the following recommendations. Deep cleaning, or you might be asked to have more frequent visits. For example, three to four months instead of six months. You might be given a special rinse. You might be recommended to have Perrier Protect gel and trays. Or if these, gum, uh, these measurements consistently are um, deep, then you might be asked to go to a specialist. That is why it's so important for you to maintain your regular visits for your cleaning and your exams so your dentist can catch any of these changes early on so you can receive your treatment that you need right away. I hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for tuning in with us today and hope to see you at Claremont Dental very soon and keep smiling.